Today we're doing a tutorial video in real time that will show you how you can create a space scene with a limited funky palette. For this tutorial I'm using a Sprite software, a 180 by 120 pixel canvas, and a palette called Petite 8 by Adigan Pollock. The link to the palette is in the description. Okay, so to begin with we start by opening up a new file. Today our sprite is 180 pixels wide by 120 pixels tall. And then we come up to the options menu to load in the palette we're using today. And that is this petite 8 palette. Okay. So to begin, let's start by renaming this bottom layer here. We'll just call it dark BG. And we'll take our darkest color here and just fill that in. Okay, next we're going to start filling in the nebulas. So we'll make a new layer called it Nebula 01. And we'll do a slightly brighter color. Now I'm going to jump up to about a three pixel brush here. And we're just going to shaky hand in a section. That is going to be the most distant and dimmest part of our nebula. Okay, another layer for the next layer of nebula, nebula 02. One color brighter. Just keeping it shaky. We're just trying to roughly fill the space inside our first layer here. Okay, another one. Nebula 03. And the yet brighter color here. I can break this one up here. This can be a few different pieces. Just keep it shaky. That's actually going to help out later on if things are rather shaky right now. All right. Another layer, Nebula 04. Okay, that should do it for the rough placement of our nebula clouds. Now we'll go in and do some refining on them. So we'll hide these top ones, come back to this nebula 01 part, and we're going to go back to a one pixel brush. We're going to create our famous two by two dither pattern here and select that. Control B will create a new brush from this pattern. And we want to make sure that our pattern is aligned to destination. And the cool thing about this is we can also switch over to the erase tool and erase using the same pattern. So that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to make the edges here a little fuzzy. fast. 
chest here. Nice, loose strokes. Bonus, if you're part of the shaky hand club like I am. I do use a mouse for this. So it's easy to jiggle it around a little bit. Don't be afraid to cut up into your nebula cloud a little bit. Okay, we're almost done here. Chipping away at this. Can also bring a little bit of it in further. There's no real rules here. Okay, now we are going to go back to the brush tool and just fill out some of the flat edges here. The messier it looks, the better. Then we always want to take a look at our preview window here, see how things are looking. That looks pretty good for our first layer. So we'll go on to the rest of the layers. We'll do kind of the same process here erasing the outside and then also filling in the external pieces of it with our pattern. So I'll go ahead and speed through this here. here I do need to change the color of the pattern. So I do that using Alt and then I click on the current layer I'm on to make that color the current color of the pattern. And we'll continue on here. Okay, that looks pretty good for our nebulas here. The next step is going to be to create a new layer. And this is going to be our small stars layer. To begin with, we're going to select our second brightest color, second dimmest color, I guess, and switch on over to the spray brush tool by doing con uh, Shift B. We need to make sure we discard our pattern by hitting escape. And then here we're going to want about a spray width of 16 and a speed of 4 will work. And then we just kind of click around the outside to begin with here. With this color we're really only concerned about filling in the darkest part. We just want to keep going till there's a good number of stars and they feel like they're pretty random. Let's go one brighter, continue on, 
there will still be a few of these bit brighter stars in the darkest area. But these ones are also going to creep into the gray areas here of that first nebula layer. Okay, brighter yet. Good rule of thumb is that the brighter the stars, the fewer of them will be visible. Okay, and finally, a bit brighter yet. overboard with these really bright ones. Okay, that looks good. One more layer here. And this one is going to be large stars. And to do this, we're going to come in. We'll go ahead and start with this mid-tone value here. With a single pixel pencil brush, we're going to do a star formation here, the brightest piece in the middle. Then we're going to select it, control B to make a pattern of that star that we can click all around. Add plenty of these bigger stars in here. Sometimes it's fun to do constellation-like formations. Okay, we'll discard that one by pushing escape. And we'll do yet a brighter version. Oops. And we'll plant some of these around. as well. And we might do one more brighter yet. And we'll be careful not to add too many of these. Okay, that looks good. A nice, messy, starry sky here. Next, I'd like to add a planet in there. So we're going to do a new layer. Name it Planet 01. And we're going to do our circular selection tool. Shift M. We'll make this one about 32 by 32. And we'll start with our kind of mid-tone here. And we'll go ahead and fill that by pushing F. Okay, we'll select a couple notches brighter here of a color and then hit S to stroke in a line around the planet. Now we need to decide where our sun is coming from, um, or a light source rather. And to me, it makes a lot of sense for that to be in this bright nebula portion. So what we'll do is we will take our dimmer color, make sure we have just a single pixel, discard any brushes you might have, and we're just going to go around the outside here and replace this edge lighting of the planet with our dimmer value. And 
And as we get to about right here, that's where we'll leave this. And we'll actually select a little bit brighter here. Fill this in on this side. And then a little bit darker on the back side here. And we'll, we'll leave it for now because we need to fill in the inner part of our planet. So we'll select that. W is the key for the magic wand tool that will let you select a single color. And we will go ahead and with our darkest value here and about a three pixel brush, we'll paint in some of that here. I like having a really nice dark backside of the planet. And then we'll paint in some brightness on this side. Don't worry too much about making this part look pretty. We're going to mix it all together here soon. Just want a little bit of a gradation across here. So the next thing we're going to do is surprise, surprise, we're going to go back to our handy two by two grid. So we'll go ahead and make a new one here. Control B and we'll just kind of mix these together. And then we can also change our grid colors our pattern colors by holding down alt and left clicking one color to select it as the foreground, right clicking another to select it as the background. And that will change both the colors on our pattern here. And then this way we can just mix these colors together. The only thing you really need to be cognizant of is don't don't have too much bright in there and don't fill it with too much darkness but play around with it all right let's discard our pattern and we can come back here and darken up the back side of our planet Okay, let's also mix in some solid colors in with these patterns here. A nice dark spot in the middle there always feels nice. Alright, that's a good planet. And if you ever want to move your planet to a different location, as long as it's on a layer by yourself, by itself, you can hit V. That's the move tool over here. And then you can just select it and move it around wherever you'd like it. We'll leave it right here for now. Okay, let's make another layer. We'll call it Planet 2. And we'll kind of follow the, the same procedure here. This one's going to be a lot smaller. Maybe 15 by 15. And maybe we'll start with a little bit brighter color. So we're just toning down that outline again. Got the same light source here. This one might even get a bit brighter on one side there. All right, 
magic wand to select the interior. And we're not going to go quite as dark this time. Maybe we'll do a two, two pixel brush for this smaller planet. Okay, and then what we can do is we'll go back to one pixel, and if you click on this brush type up here, we can actually see that uh, pattern in here in the list that we were using earlier. So we can select that. We don't have to create a new one. Just change the colors on it. Once again, fill in some of these dark spots. That looks good enough. And then finally, oops, we want to create a new layer before we go to name it. Let's do one final layer, planet three. And we're going to have it overlapping this large one. But it is going to be small, 12 by 12 here. And it is also going to be on the brighter side. That'll help it distinguish, it, distinguish itself from the planet it's overlapping here. single pixel brush is probably going to be plenty. Okay, we can go back and grab our pattern. Oops. Okay. This can get a little messy with such a small planet, but don't overwork it. Just let it be there. And then finally, as a final touch, let's go ahead and add another layer. We'll name this one Dark Nebula 01. And what we'll do here is we're going to hide everything else here, except for our dark nebula layer. Take about a three size pixel brush, select our darkest value, and then just like we did with the other nebulas, we're gonna have some, some fingers that dip out a little bit here, and we'll fill that in. We'll select that. And then we're going to start adding some edge lighting to it here. So since the light is coming from just up here, we're going to have our brightest bits be those surfaces that are directly facing that. And there will be some, some other bits here. Let's, go back down to our single pixel brush that maybe aren't as directly hit that are still getting lit up but might not be so bright let's let's go ahead and undo some of the thickness of this one here It 
I don't want it to be too thick of a highlight. Okay, and we're even going to add like some, some of our mid-tone colors here, especially on the back side. And again, don't worry too much about perfectly placing these. Get some of this color that comes in here. And then to really see how that's going to look, we can add all of our layers back in. And one thing I notice here is that we need to add some stars in front of the nebula. So uh, there's a couple things we can do. We could add our own stars here using the brush tool, or we could try moving the nebula down in front of the star layers. It kind of falls apart when you do it like that. I like having it at the top when we'll add our own stars back in. So shift B, select our second brightest value here. And a little bit more of the next brighter value. Since this is closer, we shouldn't have as many stars here. I feel like I've gone overboard on the stars already, so... Oops. I should not have used the erase tool. We should just be using this dark value. Maybe like a four pixel brush to undo some of this here. Okay, and again, we can move this around if we want to see how it looks. Yeah, I like it off to the side there. All right, I think that looks good. I hope you enjoyed this space tutorial. I'll see you next time.